Hey, how you doing? I'm here at the Octavius Valentine Cato statue that came up. It's about a year. Uh, it's about a year old, and uh, it's the first public African American statue in the city of Philadelphia that the that's on public space. And this is the gentleman. Now I didn't know anything about this guy. He has a historical marker on South Street, but so. I looked into him, October 10th, 1871, the day he passed away, he was murdered. Uh, he was a big part uh, for the 15th Amendment to pass, which allowed African American men the right to vote. They got his mural, they got these little pillars here, they got here now that day there October 10th 1871 that was election day he was murdered on the day that he was able to vote for the first time and these little pillars tell the story of his life uh, the Institute for colored youth that's the uh, school where he not only was uh, he was a teacher there I believe he might have gone there it was an educator This is the timeline of his life. He was born a free man in South Carolina. And he does become a student. And uh, what he did during the Civil War, he uh, teamed up with Frederick Douglass and he encouraged men of color to join the Union and, and fight against the Confederacy. This is, he was a, a, a community leader. This here, uh, in, in the 1800s and the 1870s, uh, the, I guess it's the SEPTA of the time, were these, these uh, cars, these street cars, and they were segregated, they weren't even, they weren't segregated. If you were not a white person, you could not ride them. Well, one day he slept on one to, to make a statement. He encouraged a, a big boycott, kind of the, the Rosa Parks of his time. And after he got done doing his little protest, not his, his big protest, not little, uh, they were able, uh, African Americans were able to ride on streetcars. And this is where he was a major, and that's where he worked with, side by side with Frederick Douglass to help uh, encourage African American men to join, fight for your freedom, fight for your rights. And he was an athlete. The Pythians were his baseball team, and he actually. Uh, played and coached on this team. He was a big fan of baseball when it first started. Baseball started in his lifetime and he enjoyed the sport, but he couldn't play with, with, with white people. Uh, he did eventually, in time, uh, he played two white teams and uh, it made the cover of the New York Times. So that's it. That's the statue, the little, uh, actually, it's, it's it's the biggest tribute they have in the in, in the city hall area and you know what rightfully so the man did a lot he should be remembered everyone knows the name frederick frederick douglas how many know the name Cato? octavius Cato. they called him a a, 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 a big pioneer for african-american rights for human rights for civil rights so if you drive past here in city hall you can now know the story Okay, that's it. Hit like, subscribe. I will sail with you later. Doodles.